This video shows how to update the firmware on your Alphafix controller. In this particular case, we'll be upgrading from version 1.02 to 1.03. The first thing we need to do is go to our controller by going to the IP address configured on the controller. We assume at this point you've already configured the controller to connect to your local PC and or network. So in this particular case, we will be going to the default IP address here. In this particular case, it does not have a password on this revision of the firmware. If we look, we'll scroll down and we can see that the firmware version is 1.02. We can click this button to go to the firmware updates page where we'll be able to download the updated firmware. Once we're there, simply click on the updated firmware for your particular controller. In this particular case, we have an AlphaPix 16, so we'll go ahead and save this to our DAC desktop in this particular case. Now that we have the file, we'll go back to the controller and we'll scroll down. We'll click update. The controller will display the word update the firmware and it is awaiting the installation of the firmware file. At this point, do not close the web browser, navigate away from this page, refresh. We're waiting for the software on this web page to synchronize with the controller and display the file update page, which will happen once the thermometer reaches 100%. Okay, so now that the controller is restarted and synchronized, we can go ahead and update the firmware. Now we have to select the Browse button and then choose the firmware file. Make sure that it is for the version of the firmware on the particular item you're using. So if you're using an AlphaPix 16, be sure to use AlphaPix 16 firmware. In this particular case, we'll be updating to 1.03. I select the file, then click Update. The firmware will be downloaded. Some web browsers will display an uploading symbol at the bottom corner of the screen. The controller will restart, and when it restarts on the LCD, it will display the current version of the firmware, which in this particular case, again, is 1.03. Now, if you may notice that the LCD has dimmed, it's because a new feature in the version 1.03 firmware is the ability to adjust the brightness of the LCD to bright or all the way down to completely off. Once this screen has refreshed, it will go into the controller, which is now booted up and is running the new firmware. The page will refresh, and it will bring up the screen. Now, on version 1.03, we do have an updated version of the firmware, which now has a password login. The default password is 12345. Now, the controller name is also displayed in this, and this would be associated with the name of the controller, such as Megatree, or Arches, or Left House, if you have named your controller. The password can be changed in the top portion here, as can the name. As we scroll down, we will also find additional features, in this particular case, the brightness of the firmware, or the backlight. We can in indicate the brightness of the firmware we would like, 100% is full brightness, and click set, and that will make the setting take effect. This updated version of the firmware also allows firmware universes up to 999 to accommodate all applications that use higher counts, such as Lightorama. We hope this tutorial has been helpful, and thank you for using Holiday Coral products.